Station. A few minutes ago, Sonny Williams uh, reported uh, to the flight control team uh, here on the ground that uh, the crew is uh, gliding through what she called a manic Monday, where they're working a couple of uh, in-flight maintenance issues, nothing of any tremendous significance, uh, but those issues include uh, the uh, replacement earlier today of a pre-treat tank in the waste and hygiene compartment that is located in the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station. You're looking at video that was acquired uh, at about uh, 3 a.m. Central Time on Monday. Sonny Williams working uh, to uh, reinstall a brand new pre-treat tank that is essential for the operation of that waste and hygiene compartment in the Destiny Laboratory. The R&R of that tank, uh, which is conducted periodically, was of no consequence, but the problem occurred uh, with the attempt to reactivate the system, which uh, yielded no joy. Uh, specialists are off uh, scratching their heads and uh, developing uh, troubleshooting plans as they pour through the data uh, from the uh, waste and hygiene compartment before uh, offering any further recommendations to the space station crew on board the International Space Station for another attempt to reactivate the waste and hygiene compartment. One of the options may be to change out that tank. It's possible that a bad uh, a set of pretreat liquid uh, may be existing in that uh, tank that was replaced by Williams earlier today. We'll be uh, waiting for further words on uh, the disposition of the reactivation of the waste and hygiene compartment. One of the other issues uh, that Williams uh, faced uh, in the early morning hours was the reloading of software on Express Rack 2 in the Destiny Laboratory. Uh, you're looking uh, here at video of a laptop computer that she attempted uh, to reload software on for the governing of experiment data coming down from that Express Rack. Uh, the, uh, the activity uh, that took about an hour this morning yielded no joy either in uh, the uh, loading of that new software for Express Rack 2. And as a result, uh, the Payload Operations Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, that uh, is responsible for payload operations aboard the orbital laboratory, is off uh, considering uh, what other uh, options may be necessary and any troubleshooting activities that may be in work uh, to try to successfully load new software. And Express Rack 2. The old load of software is operating just fine. No impact to science at this point as uh, Sonny Williams and the payload team at the Marshall Space Flight Center are off uh, discussing uh, any options uh, for the uh, next attempt to reload new software in Express Rack 2.